Hi everybody, this is John Livingston, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to search the FCC's website for EMC test reports. Now this can come in handy if you need to go by for doing your own report, or if you need to look up information about a product that isn't yet available, perhaps in their product manual or information available on their website. With that said, let's get started. Now the information that we're looking for is available on the FCC's Office of Engineering and Technology website. So the easiest way to get there is just to do a Google search for its name. So if we type these initials into Google search engine, we'll see that we're immediately returned a screen of relevant results. Now what we want to do is click this FCC ID search link. And when you do, you'll par probably get a page like this. The FCC's been updating their website, so some of their links internally are broken. But it automatically redirects you, or at least it should. Now when you get to this screen, you need a couple of pieces of information available. The first is the grantee code, and the second is the product code. Now these are usually available on a label on the device that you're looking up. But in this case, I'm going to use Apple as an example, since they're a pretty big and well-known company, and everybody's familiar with their products. Now I know that Apple's grantee code is BCG, so I'm going to type that in and press enter. You can see the FCC's website returns a multitude of results, over a thousand. Now some of these date back to the 80s, and we're probably looking for something more recent than that. So let's go back and I'll show you how to refine this to make it a little bit more manageable. Now once back on the FCC's primary search page, we want to click this advanced search link at the top. And this unlocks more options for us. Now let's assume that we're interested in finding everything that was released for certification in the first six months of 2014 by Apple. So the first thing we'll do is type in the grantee code. And then we come down here and do a date search. So we type in the date and the format required. And then once we've got the dates typed in, we scroll down here to the bottom of the page. And we can change the number of records to display. So let's change that to something like 30. And then we press Start Search. The Search Results page tells us that we've got 18 entries that were found. So let me click through one of these entries to show you what kind of information we can discover. I'm going to click through this one that's located at around 1900 megahertz. Click OK on the window, and then you can see the exhibits list here. There are 27 items. Now at first, a lot of these aren't going to make a lot of sense to you until you're a little bit more familiar with the FCC's report structure, but let's just click one right here. The external photos are always an interesting place to start, so let's click that. And what it loads us up with here is a PDF. And in this case, Apple's put together a PDF of pictures to show us exactly what the product being tested is. In this case, it tells us that we're dealing with an iPad. We can see that it's we got some descriptions here, FaceTime, camera, home button. There are some rulers to show us the dimensions of the product. So let's go back to our exhibits report screen and see what else we've got here. Now, if we're looking for an EMC test report, we're going to want to look at something that's titled Report No Photos. Now, there are several of these links. You can see that the report's been broken into several parts. So let's just click this first one right there. Now, eventually, it's going to load the test report. And we can see here that we're dealing with a tablet, which we know is an iPad, with cellular radio built-in, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. We can see it's FCC ID, BCG, it begins with Apple's ID, and then you've got the A1491 after that, which is the product ID. And we can scroll down here and see that it was tested on February 14th. And You can take a look at the table of contents to get an idea of what's involved in the whole test report. You can scroll through here. I'm just going to do a quick scroll to show you what kind of information is embedded here. Lots of tables of data, and then at some point you get to some screenshots of waveforms and that kind of thing. So at this point you can go back to the exhibits list and click through some of the other items, and I encourage you to do so to become a little bit more familiar with a test report and the structure. So that's it for this tip. If you like it, then you can find it and others like it at my website at www.nuclearelectricalengineer.com. Again, this is John Livingston. Thank you for watching.